uh, and watch towards the very end as well, okay? So we're about to head to the pool for some prayers by the pool in celebration of Mother's Day. Again, uh, we just wrapped up our ministry broadcast for tonight about 10 minutes ago. And I promised you all we'd uh, come by the pool because I've really been feeling like coming out here. I actually was going to come out here to the pool for the word, uh, but the Lord made it so that I didn't. The, the machines that plug up to my battery to, for a battery for the phone weren't like working all of a sudden. And I knew that was a sign that I needed to do the broadcast in the house. So I'm going to go through the fitness center. That's cute. A little fitness center. <laughs> Glory to God. So let's um so let's go to the pool and pray. Prayers by the pool. Glory. Hey pressure. Hey everyone. Yes. Okay, so we're almost here. Look at this beautiful pool. Isn't that lovely? Get your prayers ready. Come on, let's worship the Lord. And yeah, let's just have a good time. Hold on one second. Stay right there, everyone. Got your prayers ready let's go ahead and lift them up in the air oh glory to god oh man and woman of god let me go ahead and have a seat here by the pool and just uh just worship with you so again if you did not see our ministry broadcast that just ended about 10 minutes ago, please make sure you go and watch to the end. Uh, even the prophetic, uh, the prophetic uh, impartation on there at the end was just so powerful. So here we are at the pool. Now I am going to start praying in tongues, okay? And so what I want you to do while I'm praying in tongues is think about what you are requesting the Lord to reveal to your heart what questions do you have for God what what is it that you are asking God to do on your behalf okay and I want you to start to speak in your own prophetic and um, your own your own tongues okay and if you've never spoken in tongues before just follow me and then we're going to come out of speaking in tongues and then I'm just going to ask you all to lift up your prayers and then we're going to agree with each other um, in prayer. Okay, give me one moment, Periscope, while I go ahead and share this on Facebook. Hold on one second. Okay, Facebook and Periscope. Facebook, I'm still here. Periscope, I'm back. So, hey, welcome back, everyone. Hey, Michaela, child of God. Hey, 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 hey. 
Hope you all are enjoying the view of the pool. It is so fantastic, isn't it? And so, high pressure, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed our last ministry broadcast, everyone. So let's open up a portal for prayer. Let's break through, okay? Let's do the will of the Father for your life. Let me go ahead and start by praying in tongues. I want you to follow me in your own prayer language. The point of this is for you to open up your heart to God, Jesus Christ, Father God, Holy Spirit. Ask for his will to be done in your life. Ask him to take over your life. Ask him to send you the solution, send you the clarity, send you the instruction, send you the power. Glory, 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 glory. Send you the favor, send you the breakthrough. Control your mind so that you can get the results that you're looking for. We were, we were just talking about maturity. So let's pray in mature tongue, okay? Join me. Role rasavana saka pia tasaba. Roke rashava. Rosho krasava. Now, if you all are wondering, what is the importance of praying in tongues? Praying in tongues permits you to speak beyond the limitations of the human or uh, the uh, English language. And it is your personal prayer language to God directly. And so there's no interference. It's just you praying directly to God, okay? So if you've never done this, I'm just going to ask you to strengthen your spiritual and your, your prayer muscles in this particular way. And just start praying, okay? Um, and then, of course, we're going to come back and we're going to start lifting up your prayers in English. Um, again, I bless you all and I welcome you all into this atmosphere. If you did not watch the ministry broadcast for tonight, please go back and watch that full impartation, okay? Vrose nasabara sakara roshe patanasava vrike yiko patanasa keshe vara shokopo rasavia 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 broko reshe vekeri asiti abata no soko rashava. Many of you may be uh, praying for healing, healing healing there's there's a prayer that can be unlocked in the spirit out of your mouth your prayer unlocks healing in the spirit and so just pray 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 for your inheritance to be unleashed pray for your soulmate to be unleashed pray for your provision to be unleashed oh my gosh do you all know that i have needed god so much in my life i'm i know but in my transition here to Dallas, I have needed him so much. And it was not only my ability to pray and pray in tongues, but it's my submission to him and my belief in him. And so he's saying that your prophetic, you're like, uh, I'm saying prophetic prayer, but it is kind of a pro prophetic prayer. Your prayer in this manner and your prayers in general are a demonstration of your belief in God. So if you're not praying to God, there's something in your heart that you're not believing that he can deliver, that he can um, permit, it, permit the answer to come to you, okay? So just pray, pray, pray. Vroke kiasia patano soyo rashava rosho kapa rika resheke broseya brasara. I touch and agree with you in the spirit. I touch and agree with you in the spirit. Tasana bitia resheke, rokora, rokora, roko patia nasava, reke resheve, ruka buka rashava, reke risia tisama nesteke, ria roshoka, 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 bata noso, koyo pete nasia tasava, roke yasabe teseke, rokora. Some of you all may have seen people praying in the spirit in your church and you probably are like, I can never do that. That's not for me. <laughs> I'm, invite, I'm inviting you tonight. Get in your secret place. Hey, Tamiko. Get in your secret place. Your, your place where there's no interruption, where it's just you and God and start to let this flow out of your mouth. And watch me as an example. Rasha vitsya nesebe koyo tasaba risha rosho kara rasta vasya rosho be risha veke rasitia roko rasha vakata noso kepe tisa bo 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 tiaristia tasaba 
Roke yasaba, rasaba ketenese, kitia nosobe, tasana yakaba, roko rashaba kitia reshe, rokora. You let your prayer come from the deepest level of your being, your gut. Hey, Anthony Davis, let it come from your your inner being. Don't don't let it go. Just say whatever is stuck in that place. Glory, 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 glory. Rasa kasana yekepe. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Take my hand as we pray in the Spirit. Is what the Lord is saying. Just take my hand as we pray in the Spirit. What is this doing? In your mind, you are being unlocked into a supernatural level. There's so much that you may have wanted to say to God, but you may not have known the right words. You may not have been moving in the spirit. So when you're praying in tongues, again, you're not limited by the English language. You have your personal connection with God, but this is literally just flowing from your very being. Rasatisia bete no so koko yasara. Rakaba rosho katasa reke rasavi toso yeke pere shiti arashava roke rasava roke rasava. The Lord is saying some of you need to pray for family members, people that are close to you. So you may not have a need directly, but you know someone in your family, in your close circle that's going through something. Pray for them. Pray for them. You, there is a miracle in your mouth. That needs to be unlocked through your prayer and your belief. Your prayer and your belief. Glory, glory, glory. Reke rasha tasana. Roko rasana. Siki aroso ke peresti aristi avokora. Roko rasava. Rakariti aro. Here, here, here bese. Bokoro. Tasa. Kiti ara. Ro, ro, rasa. Arisia. Everybody is going to have their own prayer language. Mine is going to sound my way. Yours will sound your way. You can borrow someone else's until you get your own. So long as your honor is being directed towards God, you're using your mouth to pray in a very unique way. You are unlocking yourself at the next level in the spirit. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Tasa tisia tesebe boko rasava 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 katono so pekerisia kara bura bura burasha bura bura burashana raka boko pe ziti arisia viki aroso kapa tisia reke bekero rokora. It just feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good when you do that. It just does. So I invite you. Pray it out, speak it out, cry it out, get it out. I come to tell you that our Lord is a provider. I remember being in this exact atmosphere about a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, doing um, some marketing for our ministry, and I was going through a period that was I was I was like very afraid, like you know, because I was um, transitioning from one workplace to another and I'm just like oh my gosh I'm, I'm I'm transitioning I'm in the middle of a place I have all these responsibilities oh my lord I need you to deliver and a few weeks later the lord has delivered and now I'm out here praying in tongues so long as you are doing the work of the lord and you are being your best self the lord will always find a way to bless you he will always open up the channel to bless you if you are doing his will if you're operating in his will be vulnerable with the Lord. Know that you are not alone in this. And as my words hit your ear, your mind, your heart, I know that I come to testify of just how powerful the Lord will move for his children. Just how aggressive he is about keeping you, protecting you, providing for you as you do his kingdom work and as you mature and as you grow and as you increase and your anointing as you build your business as you build your career as you build yourself your relationships all of these things the lord is definitely going to be right there alongside of you but you have to keep your belief up you have to keep your ear attuned to what he's saying in order for me to have been delivered i had to control my mind and i had to position myself to keep going and keep moving and keep applying myself so that the lord could move in my life had I not done that, 
things could have just stopped and I could have just given up and I would have went backwards. So, so long as you don't give up on God, God will not give up on you and you will continue to move forward. Glory to God. And so um, I know that I just finished wrapping up the broadcast. Some people have probably already been fed by the word and have gone to sleep. I know some of you are going to come on the replay. Some of you are on here with me live right now uh, for this beautiful uh, atmosphere. And so I just want to ask you, if you have any prayers that you want to lift up, um, please let me know if there's something you have a need for and you just like, man, like I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I don't know what my next steps are going to be. I invite you to go ahead and uh, and open up, open up your mouth and come into agreement with us on tonight in prayer. Okay, look at this. Isn't it just gorgeous? Isn't that lovely? Come on, let's turn it around a little bit. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. You said, please pray for Chanel. She is battling cancer. Okay, okay, pressure. Thank you for that prayer request for Chanel. Spirit of cancer, energy of cancer, be released, be released, be released, Chanel, be released, be released, Chanel. Cancer, 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 no more, no more, eradicate it, gone, 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 out of her body, out of her mind, out of her presence. The solution has made itself to her. There is a pathway to her. The presence of God is going to her. The angels are going to her. I see a golden energy headed towards her. A golden energy headed towards her. She will be recovering. She will be recovering. She will be recovering. She is strong. I still I get a sense that maybe she's a younger uh, woman. She uh, maybe battling cancer, but I feel like there's still some some strong cells, some strong energy on the inside of her where she's gonna be able to rejuvenate and get her body back on track. Surely, steadily, she's coming back. She's coming back. She's coming back. Glory, glory, glory. We decree it and we declare right now. She sits up in her bed. As she strengthens herself, as she chooses life, as she chooses to not give up. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. We lift Chanel in prayer. We lift her in prayer right now, Father. We deliver her. We deliver her. We deliver her. We deliver her. We, we destroy every single sick cell in her body. You said she is younger. Wow. Yeah, I get the sense that she's younger and her body is going to steadily restore itself. She has to choose this route, though, and I know she wants it. I can feel her spirit. And I wonder if, because I'm seeing something wrapped around her head, I wonder if this cancer has something to do or if it has affected her brain, if it started in her brain. Because uh, for some reason, I'm seeing, again, head wrap. Head wrap. head wrap I think it's ovarian I wonder if her hair is starting to come out wow for some reason I'm seeing something around her head maybe maybe healing around her mind her mind frame but she's strong I get a sense that this is a strong young woman strong Chanel we lift you Chanel we lift you, Chanel, in the spirit. Be, we are with you. Be, be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. You are not alone in this. Thank you, Pressure, for lifting up Chanel. It's interesting. Someone named Chanel was on my spirit today, earlier today. Someone that I know, and uh, yeah, she was heavy on my spirit today for a moment about her well-being. So all Chanel's, I pray for all Chanel's, all every every single person that is going through something devastating. I just pray for them. I pray for them. It's so interesting that you mentioned that. Come on, let's take a walk around here. Any other prayers, guys? 
I just decided to come out here just to do a quick post ministry broadcast around the pool. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Isn't that beautiful? Your glory, God, is what our hearts long to be overcome by your presence. Lord. Hey, King Cyrus. Your presence, Lord. My goodness. Woo wait, this is a beautiful view. Wow. Isn't that nice, everyone? My goodness. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. You said, LOL, I didn't know you were alive. Yeah, I don't know why Periscope is not doing the notifications. I don't know what's up with that, King Cyrus. I'm sorry about that. I have to find that out. <laughs> yeah, we were live earlier. And you came on right, right as I was singing. The Lord must have wanted to sing to you, King Cyrus. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> yes. So, yes, any other prayers? We came to pray by the poolside in celebration of Mother's Day. Hey, everybody. Okay, good. Thank you for letting me know that because I was starting to get concerned because last, uh, last week um, they were saying that they didn't get the notification. You said, I guess I chose... All of them are the right one. <laughs> Glory. Any prayers to lift up? Any more thank you pressure for that beautiful prayer? Oh, King, we just, uh, uh, King Cyrus, we had a beautiful ministry broadcast tonight. Please make sure you go and check it out and watch the prophecy at the end. Oh, my gosh, the atmosphere was so thick with the presence of God, as always. We're really just praying. We're praying in tongues earlier healing the soul and just really enjoying this atmosphere okay well I pray over you all and I pray that supernatural open doors happen for you I pray for clarity I pray for a peace in your heart and your mind a health in your body a health in your relationships peace in your home some of you may live alone and I pray just for an atmosphere of peace where you can rest and where you can grow and where you can discern the word of the Lord and just really enjoy your life. Like, just enjoy your your lifestyle. I just, I pray this over you. I pray for strength in relationships with your mothers, with your family. And most of all, I pray that God just seeps in your spirit at such a deep level where there is never any distance between you all. And if you have not received the Lord in your heart, I just ask you to bring him into your heart and say, just Father, this week, was blank put fill in the blank he said i found five dollars on the ground yesterday i feel that it is a sign and a blessing yes five dollars represents grace and so get ready for that grace to enter your life the, the, the grace of the lord the restoration of the lord um yes pressure thank you for telling me that oh that was a good that's good um so yes it is my pleasure and honor being uh your prophet a spiritual mother uh uh just such a such an impartation of god in your life his voice for you it is uh i had a soul sign happen yesterday Ooh, you had a soul sign happen you had a seed sign yes our, our broadcast uh the the word of the lord was this, a seed sign what happened tell us what was the seed sign yeah you yeah you got the vocabulary right <laughs> You had a C sign, and you got it right this time. Yes, you had. You were on the right track. Let me go get my chair. Hold on, stand right there. Put the comment up there. Tell me what the C sign was. Try 
all together. Yeah, King. King Cyrus, I see it. Tell us. Hey, Facebook, I'm back. I want to know this. Come on, fellas. I was on there real heavy talking to the ladies. Hopefully you all can see the pool. Yeah, what was it? You said somebody just reaching out to me out the blue just asked indirectly, asked me if I could send them money. Yes. Yeah, now of course you don't have to break the bank, but yeah, like if the Lord has sent you a seed sign, definitely do it. Definitely. Oh, it sounds like what happened with me and my cousin. How when she just randomly just asked and then all of a sudden the Lord gave me a hand through another person. You said, I guess the Lord put it on their mind to reach out to me. Yep. Oh, <laughs> seed sign. Look at that. Look at that. And you see the word of the Lord came through prior. So you already had an awareness of what was going on. That's the beauty of ministry, of, of, of a deep, uh, deep prophetic ministry that's connected with the word of the Lord. We now you would never you would never be out that be without that understanding ever again. Hey, a lot hey woman of God, yay! So glad you're here. I hope you all can see the pool. Isn't it lovely? Oh, you didn't miss your seed sign, did you, King Cyrus? Did you sow into the person? Tell us. Did you sew? <laughs> As we just chit chatting. Look, look, the ministry broadcast already happened. We're out here just praying and having a good time with each other. And uh, lift up your prayers, lift up your spiritual. Lift up your questions. If you have questions, this could be a, a great Q&A. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're just doing a little celebrating out here. Let me see. Did I miss a comment? Okay. See sign. I chose the right one. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, did anything else happen this week? Were there any questions? Does anybody again have any prayers? We're free flowing right now. The prophetic, all that just happened about twenty minutes ago. Now, I want to hear from you all. What else happened this week? I shared all all the stories about what happened. Uh, <laughs> What happened, uh, what stood out this week for me? A lot of, I don't know if a lot of still on here. I know she popped on. We prophesied to her a while back. It was powerful. Okay. Let me feel what's on the heart of the Holy Spirit. And then you all can comment as you, uh, as you feel the need. Come on, Father. What's on your heart tonight as we sit out here and listen to this beautiful water? Hey, Alade, I see you. What you say sorry for? <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah, there she is. Hey, Alade. Hey, Alade. How are I? Hey, how have you been? What's been happening, Alade? I'm so glad I came on again so I could see you all. Because I know some of you didn't catch the first broadcast. Yes. You said, I've been all right. How about you? Well, Alade, I moved to Dallas. I don't know if you were on the broadcast before. Um, I moved to, uh, to Dallas in December. I'm pretty sure you've popped on since December. I just don't think we got a chance to talk. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here in Dallas, Texas. Absolutely love it. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. From Atlanta? No, from Chicago. So when I prophesied to you, I was in Chicago. <laughs> So yeah, so now I'm here. You said, oh, that's right. Yeah, I was in Chicago, woman of God. Oh, yes, isn't it beautiful? 
So that's how I found you. Yes, you did. No, I thought you found me through Periscope. Yeah, you found me through Periscope. Yep. The Lord mentioned something about perishing two or three years ago. Yes, Alada, you said you're in the you're in the Chicago suburbs. Okay, awesome. I believe I do remember you saying that. And how's your arm? Remember the Lord prophesied about your arm? On the map, I mean, here on Periscope. Yes. How's your arm? I remember when the Lord had my arm go limp. And I started prophesying. I said, is something going on with your limb? Your, your, you got limbs? And then you say, yes. You got limb. You're having a limb issue. You say, yes. And then you were telling me about your what was going on with your arm and how numb it was feeling. And now you're saying it's better. Good. Good. I'm so glad. That was one prophecy out of... Out of out of about three or four around that time where I was getting physical uh, impartations of what was going on. Not just the word, like the Lord was, was letting me feel it. That's when it started happening more strongly. And, and then it, it just happened more and more from that point. He said, can't remember what happened that time. I'm glad it's gone. Wow. Yeah, me too. I'm glad your arm is better. Yes. Come on, Father. I believe someone else has something to say. They may not know how to say it, what to say. Uh, and I'm, I can always go into the prophetic and I can always do all that stuff. But I really want to hear from you all. I'm glad a lot of you spoke up because I have not connected with you a lot of in a while. And so if there's some, if, if like there's been a busy broadcast and, and you just couldn't get through to your prophet <laughs> and you were like, Hey, I need to ask a question or I, I want to lift this prayer up or I want a direction on this. And this would be the time to go ahead and put it up. Put it up in the air. Um, as we spend this time together. It almost feels like a night picnic. But yes, I, um, I was going in the spirit and I heard perish. But like three, but like three years prior, something. So maybe something perished or died three years prior. But it's on your heart right now. And a lot of said, I've been thinking about marriage and kids and whether or not it's in my future. Mm. A lot of did you experience divorce? I felt the word divorce. I heard it real strong. For some time, I've been seeing kids and marriage proposals. Ooh, okay. Have you experienced divorce? Or the word divorce was upon you real strong. I don't know if it was your divorce or if your parents divorced, but I, I heard divorce when I looked at your, peer, your, your picture. You said, and a prophet even said I would get married. Yes, I'm definitely... No divorce. Did your parents go through any type of divorce, or are you? Been, have you been fear? Have you been fearing divorce? Because when I looked at your picture, okay, yes. When I looked at your picture, I heard divorce. I did. So for some reason, that that word is upon you. Now let me. You said, I fear bad union, which means you might fear divorce. Yeah, because it's like the spirit. It's it's a spirit on you. So I'm just, I'm just going to deal with that. I'm going to break that fear of a bad union, divorce, however we want to name it. I know the Lord said divorce. I just want to break that spirit off you. That maybe somebody prophesied to you. Maybe gave you a, a, a negative prophecy and made you feel like, you were gonna go through divorce. However, that spirit got up on you so strongly that I felt I just removed it. And I ask you, Father, is that if you're willing, Father, to tell her? I know she came asking. You know, if it, again, if you're will, Father. Alada is asking. 
about her future in terms of relationships, whatever you're willing, Father, to say. No force, Father, no none of that. Whatever your impartation is for Alade, regarding relationships or not, Father, just tell us. The Lord is talking about fast forwarding three years. Fast forward three years. Fast forward three years. And then actually right when you came on, the Lord was talking about something perishing three years ago. So I wonder, uh, Alani, did you have a relationship that ended three years ago? Did you have a relationship that ended three years ago? That, that you, yeah. Because as soon as you came on, I was just about to release that word. And then now I'm hearing fast forward three years. Alana, let me know if you got that question. Still no comment popped up. We want to know. Because that will be a synchronicity. The Lord said fast forward three years. And then it, it prompted me. It reminded me about. Okay she came back. It reminded me about. Phone died. Okay. <laughs> Lily said hey I'm back. <laughs> hey Lily you remember I said I was going to be out here at the pool. Hey welcome. We're at about 32 minutes. And um, we'll be on here for a few more minutes, um, maybe up, you know, maybe up to ten. You said should have known wouldn't let me type fast on the keys. Lol. <laughs> hey, prophetess, welcome. Yo, <laughs> yeah, I was a lot of I was gonna ask you, were you in a relationship that didn't go? Hey, were you in a relationship that perished three years ago? Because that's what the word was when you came on. Like as soon as you popped on, I was about to release that. And then when I was looking at your pic picture, the Lord said, fast forward three years. So, hey, Prophetess Cam Camilla. Okay, never had a never had a committed relationship. No, but no, I'm I'm saying any type of relationship. Did you have were you involved with anyone like three years that you can recall? Hey, happy Mother's Day, Prophetess Carmilla. You said, but had some men that could have had potential. Okay. Hey, prophetess. You said, so yes. Three years prior, three years fast forward. Father, unlock that mystery for us. For a lot of... For us all, Father. Unlock it for us. Unlock it for us, Father. Glory to God. Glory, glory be your name. Help her, Father. Help her, Father. She's seeking you, Father. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. For a lot, Father. Lifting you higher, King Jesus. Higher, King Jesus. Jesus above all names. Jesus, 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 Jesus of Nazareth. Above all names. Above all names. Above all names, the one and only King, the one and only to be worshipped, Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, prophetic anointing, prophetic anointing for Alade. The Lord showed me you in the driver's seat. He said, you're in the driver's seat. So the question is not, will you? The question is, when will you? You notice how the Lord put us in a time, in time zone. Like three years prior, three years forward. I'm like, why is the Lord, like, why did the Lord do that? <laughs> it's 
especially when you came on and I and I really received that word and then when I prophesied to you I received that so it's just like the Lord is like you're in the driver's seat you determine when you get married hey Lily it's, it's up to you so if somebody prophesied it and they said it's going to happen my prophecy is that you are in the driver's seat so if you say it's going to happen it's going to happen and the only reason why I'm saying that, that is because when I was lifting the Lord and I said prophetic anointing, prophetic anointing for you, which usually when I do that, somehow that unlocks the Lord to release visions and awareness and knowing onto me at, a, at, at that moment. Like, because he can do it at any time. But when I'm, I'm asking, when I'm pressing and I'm like, okay, and when I lift him up, he releases his anointing in this dimension onto me. So... And it's a demonstration of who he is. This is a whole purpose. The purpose of him, you know, the purpose of him prophesying is not to just prophesy and let's have a good time and see his presence. The purpose of it is really for you to grow closer to him and believe in him. Jesus Christ, Father, God, Holy Spirit. So when I'm doing that, it's like, okay, we're in our purpose, Father. Now do what you desire to do through me, Father, for your people. And it's so, it's so many things so much more than I can even express with my mouth has happened for people through the prophetic anointing so a lot of yes yes if you want it you could have maybe, maybe the Lord was saying you could have had it three years ago and you could have it three years from now yep that's what he's saying some just came forward forward to me like and this was very spiritual but it came forward to me in the natural you don't have to wait a lot eh? it's right at your fingertips uh, Dallas Farmers Branch you said that's a really good point. Yes, a lot of so you can you can go out there tomorrow and just like you know what I'm gonna decide. This is what I want. This is what I'm about to do, and it's gonna happen. It's gonna it's gonna manifest, materialize, and I stand with you because I'm sure I know what the Lord showed me. You in the driver's seat. As soon as I was calling on the prophetic anointing for Him and lifting Him up, it's gonna happen, woman of God. So don't you despair. Yes, don't you despair. Look at Prophetess Carmela. She said, amen. I love that. I'm so glad I came back on. Look, no time that you invest into the people of God and ministering and making yourself available is, is going to be wasted. The Lord is going to move through you for other people. Just make yourself available. You know, I just came down here. I just wrapped up a whole hour and a half uh, prophetic and, and wisdom ministry broadcast in my apartment. I said, I'm going to come downstairs. Let's go by the pool. Let's have some fun. And look at the Lord. Delivering the latte. She's going to go out there and get married. And she's going to know she's in the driver's seat. There's no time frame. There, there. It's all up to her. And she has the confirmation from the Lord. I wasn't going to say anything until I received the word of the Lord. And as a matter of fact, it took a little while. <laughs> it took just a little bit more time. And so, oh, I love that. You said, I desire marriage as well. Oh, yes. Prophetess Shema. I believe it's Shema. And she said, amen. Well, I, I pray for you too. I pray for you too. You said, I just need to get out and be social. Dating eventually when the time is right. Yes, Shema. And yes, Alade. Oh, women of God. Okay, come on. Let's, let's agree. Let's agree. Let's agree, Lily. I see you. And my, and my family called me Lily, baby. And men of God, I see you all on the line. Thank you, men of God. We have some wonderful men and women of God all in our ministry. And look at us growing. Every single day, we're just growing and prospering. And oh, my gosh. Receiving greater and greater impartations from our Father. Oh, my goodness. It is just so amazing. So, as we all stand here in agreement with each other, I'm going to pray for our relationships. Hey, Irene. Welcome back, woman of God. We're on here prophesying to a lot of and uh, the Lord just told her she's in the driver's seat concerning her concerning her uh, her marriage. <laughs> it's so funny how it's so interesting how the Lord did that. I knew it was a, a mystery. I'm like three years prior, three years forward. It's not about time; it's about you. Yes, you're in the driver's seat, woman of God. That goes for all of us. Lily said, "Because of what happened to me last time, I'm scared of marriage." Ooh, what happened last time, Lily? tell us oh we lift you higher father higher king jesus glory 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 to god i pray for all of our divine relationships come on come on let's agree let's agree 
all of us since the Lord has us on this topic this came by this just came up thing by way of a lot and by way of the father permitting us to prophesy and Shema saying she's praying for the same thing um, what I have personally done is I've just said you know father just is that on Facebook yes yes where I'm periscope on Facebook I'm doing the same uh, platforms I, I broadcast on the same platform since when we um, prophesied to you a lot so yes follow us on, on Facebook and um, and Instagram uh, Facebook and, and Periscope and of course Instagram Twitter all that yes father have your will be done in all of our relationships pray for marriages that already exist the ordained relationship the ordained marriages to be strengthened to be invigorated to be renewed father and father for all of the single men and the single women on the line um, including myself of course um, just have your will be done father uh, let us grow in such satisfaction uh, of your of your peace and grace like I've grown in such to be so so satisfied with our father but of course if, if there's a um, your divine partner out there nobody wants to be without that person of course life is even greater with your divine connection so you say amen yes and so we call them all in hey about that hey about that right now let's do that we call all of our divine connections in each and every one of you you're one divine connection i don't believe that god has multiple people for us if that was the case he would have given adam two wives or uh, eve would have had two husbands the lord had adam to eve a one-to-one -one ratio so i i highly believe in the one-to-one -one relationship dynamic and so call them in we call in our divine connections we call in our divine connections we call in our divine connections we loose our divine connections we we bring them about right now according to the will of the father we bring them about if the lord is saying we're in the driver's seat since the lord is saying we're in the driver's seat we take the driver's seat we use our mouth and we say divine connection come forth now divine connection come forth now by the by the will of the by the will of the father it's really just about your maturity about your readiness and what what comes out of your mouth is a reflection of what you're ready for so yes so yes if you are ready say that say that divine connection come forth now divine connection come forth now my divine connection come forth now and you want to also say and I've gotten really good at this father she must sit prophet she must said I'm ready Lord say father do not let anyone who's not called to be in my life be in my life on that level like you know say father help me to discern help me to not be deceived because the enemy could deceive you having you think that somebody is supposed to is supposed to be in your life but it's all deception it's to keep you from the real relationship thank you irene glory i see that heart and i'm going to read these comments on facebook it's just to keep you and you got to get so good at seeking the lord in everything that you do that anybody that comes into your life you have to go to the word just flip open your bible see what the lord leads you to if he's leading you to words like deception wrong 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 word sin bondage you know if he's if he's like repeatedly every time you think about this person or every time every time you know you're requesting the lord give you a word about him the lord is sending you to his word on these words and as you are praying on them that's not it receive the word of the lord now lily said my last relationship caused me to be scorned out scorned and out of my mind i felt out i felt so out yet i was in love it almost killed me but i refused to let go oh my goodness yes irene said divine connection come forth now oh yes glory to god oh my gosh lily i release you from that pain right now woman of god may my strength be transferred a portion of my strength as the lord wills and continues to feed me greater and greater strength i i i send a flow of strength onto you woman of god to release you from that and i believe i 100 percent believe that there is a time 
where God is developing you, maturing you, strengthening you, and you're not supposed to be in a relationship at that time. You're just not. That, that At least that was for me. I was not supposed to be in a relationship for a very significant and lengthy period of my life. Um, I had to be developed. That was just my path. And Irene said, yes, Aaliyah. To that, to that prayer, I believe. Irene, I, I receive that presence. I receive your presence, woman of God. There's a portion of your time where you have to self-develop or else you'll get into a relationship and then it can be just a mess because you're not ready. But as the Lord wills and as you commit yourself to Jesus, because Jesus could accelerate you to a level where you could be ready for a relationship. You weren't ready yesterday, but you can commit your mind to Jesus and say, Jesus, I'm committed to as you send me my divine connection, I'm committed to walk this path with you. I'm committed to do my divine assignment with you, for you, Father. Just teach me, show me the way, and bring me my divine connection as I walk alongside you. The Lord, the Lord will do that. But if you if you put yourself in a position where now the Lord has to compete between your attempt, you know, to get your attention because you're so focused on this emptiness in your heart. The Lord's, if He's got a call in your life, a heavy call in your life, He's not gonna everybody's got a call but if he's like if you really got to get something done if they're like souls de if souls depend on your maturity <laughs> my god i gotta say that again if there are so souls out there like there are souls out here that have depended on my maturity like for them to get to step a i mean it's from step a to step b to step a to step z i needed to be mature i needed to be who i needed to be when i needed to be it how i needed to be it when i needed to be it where i needed to be it right here before y'all and if I was not, if I had not become the person that I am and become the person I'm becoming, their release would not happen. So I could see why the Lord had me alone for so long to, to figure myself out without interference, to access different people, to put seeds in my mind, to, to access different environments that I probably would have been so comfortable in one place that I wouldn't have been able to access these other places to develop who I am so I can see why I can see why that will happen um, now that now that I'm at this point the Lord can have so much more for me but now that I'm at this point I can, I can see like okay I can see someone probably coming in my life only only the one of the Lord <laughs> um, but it, I couldn't see it happening before this like mm -mm. too much too many people depend on me uh, and I don't say that in the, in the state of they're weak. No, I, there's just, I have an impartation for them. I have a seed for them and I'm ordained to give them that seed. It's supposed to be me. And that's how it is for you. It's supposed to be you. So we all have to get mature. And then the Lord can start to release these extra things. Notice the Lord positioned Adam in the earth, gave him his assignment and then gave him a woman. He was already working. He was doing his assignment. And then, all right, now I'm going to add some joy onto you. Now I'm going to add, add some help onto you. Now I'm going to add some pleasure onto you. But it was it was after he had already, like, been ordained, he had been working in his assignment. Same for you, woman of God. And the Bible says, you say, yes, layers. And the Bible says that the women, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. So if you have not gotten yourself to a point where you are speaking in tongues, where you are reading the word, where you have love for Jesus, if you're still lukewarm for Jesus, that's a, that's a sign of not being mature in Christ. If, if somebody, you know, if you're still like, oh, you know, are you, you more excited about the real housewives than you are of Jesus? There ain't nothing wrong with being excited about housewives and all that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I just remember a transition. I, all I watched was Christian TV. Like that's all I had an appetite to watch. Everything else just felt toxic to me. I kid y'all not. Like it was twenty. People thought people was like, you not watching Empire? You didn't watch Being Married? Now there were some times where I would watch Netflix movies. I think that everybody needs to have their entertainment. But when you're going through a process, it's like, man, like baby food. Like the Lord has to monitor your intake at, at such a high degree. And my TV, I have cable. I pay for cable right now, and I still, I'm, I'm. I'm like spiritual food, spiritual content. What's useful to my soul? What's useful to to our ministry? What's what's useful? Um. So I know I just said a whole lot, but this is relationships, and 
I just speak. Whoever that divine connection is for you, I release them right now. I match them with you in the spirit. I, I call them on and I say, oh, thank you for that shower of hearts and likes and loves. I just... I bring them in sync with you and I just ask the Lord to release them to you right now. I just ask, ask the Lord to release your divine connection to you. And I just pray that they're ready. I pray that you all grow old together. I pray that you all have wrinkles together and never cheat on each other. Never have a desire to cheat. Maturity is, it has nothing to do with cheating. Maturity, you know who you're supposed to be with. You are satisfied with them. As a matter of fact, you're not just satisfied. You look at that person, you're like, thank God I'm with this person. Like, I would never want to jeopardize this. And if you had jeopardized it before, you would be like, I would never want to jeopardize this again. I'm so grateful. Say, you know, this is my person. This is my person. They're alive. I just thank God that they're alive. Like, how dare I? I would never think about stepping out on them. I don't even have an appetite for anybody else. Nobody even compares to this person. This is the type of person that I... I'm asking the Lord to sink you with. Some of you may know them already. Some of you may not. Some of them may have been in your past already. You may know them already. Like you may have been with them already. That's how you know their heart so well. And you may only want that person. Because you're like, look, I've seen this. I've seen that. I know this person's heart. This is the heart that I desire. I know that this is Jesus' hand on my life. I know that this is Jesus' heart on my life. Just prepare the person, Father. Send the person. I'm going to be good to this person. Because another thing is the Lord is not going to permit you to be with his child, his man or woman of God. And you're not ready to be hand, the hands of Jesus for them. You're just going to break their heart. Because the Lord is doing a work in them. Just like he's doing a work in you, he's doing a work in them. And so if you are at a point where you're going to subtract from them. And I know there's so many comments and I'm about to read them. I see all the comments populating. <laughs> if you're not mature enough to hold them for real. Like really give them a foundation. I guess I just became a relationship expert tonight, huh? <laughs> but if you, <laughs> blessings, hey, God bless you too. Favorite, favor of God for me. Yeah, so if you are in this position, hey, J hey, Jay. Hey, yes. King said, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, we still talking. <laughs> Phone died. Okay, we still here. The Holy Spirit is still going. Look at it. We doing a marathon. Oh, Lord, y'all got me working tonight. As always, I don't mind. This is my time and I love it. But anyway, yeah, if the Lord is saying, you're not ready for this person, I'm doing the work in this person. If you do this to this person, that's going to set them back and, oh, no, I'm going to have to leave you over here. I'm going to have to leave her over here. And until you ready, until this is all ready, because I can't have no subtraction happening. So, my goodness, I just, I, Lord, now, you said, I figured, I figured if I knew him, he would reach out on Mother's Day. <laughs> look, good fruit said, I, look, I figured if it was a man that wanted me, he was going to reach out to me on Mother's Day. <laughs> That's just like on Valentine's Day, when, when if you have a crush, they'd be like, look, <laughs> somebody on Facebook is giving you all kind of happy, uh, uh, smiling faces cracking like laughing faces she said look look brother if it was a billy bob jean a, a mirror jean a, 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 a jimmy john <laughs> if he was hiding back there for 20 years he was gonna come out today shoot i've been putting all these facebook pictures up He can't be shot a day. This is my day. Out of all the 365 days, this is my day. You was going to show up today. If you ain't showed up today, you ain't for real, for real. Okay? <laughs> That's how you feel on your birthday. <laughs> if that brother don't show up on your birthday, girl, he ain't coming. He ain't the one. That ain't the one Jesus called for you. <laughs> Keep it moving. <laughs> Now, I will tell you, oh, my goodness. So, my last serious, serious relationship was in, it ended in December of 2010. Now, I have technically, I dated a little bit, but I've technically been, like, single. <laughs> like, real relationship. I'm talking about real, like, real committed relationship. I dated a couple guys after that. Um, and that's it. 
So, I mean, I think it's been about nine years now. So I can tell you, <laughs> I can tell you. And, and I was engaged um, and I was in the relationship for like six and a half. So, um, yeah, yeah. And you know, here's the thing. I think that other guys were probably interested in me, but I think they, they felt that I still loved my ex. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it out there. Cause I would say things, even up until recently, I would just say things like, yeah. <laughs> and the, and, and you know, the guy would probably just be like, uh, hello, what about me? <laughs> but you know, it's like, you just give props. You just, you, you give, I mean, that's your reference point. And that's what I would say. I'm like, this is my reference point. You asking me, you, you know, it's my reference point, <laughs> you know? Um, Hey, it was great. So, yeah, <laughs> the Lord, the Lord. Oh Lord, I haven't even asked the Lord to if I could say all of that. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Lord. My goodness. But yeah, so if you really looking, that that I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna. I hope the Lord's not mad at me for saying that. But um, <laughs> a lot of like, yeah. But don't yeah, don't fall into the trap of if you're trying to if you look just move forward if the lord's calling you to move forward move forward if the, if the lord is calling you to your past the lord will let you know <laughs> he will let you know look okay hold on let me catch up on the comments good fruit said let it flow lord i love that oh good fruit that comment he <laughs> you would have showed up today Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, Lily. Yes, we were praying for Lily. Yes. Y'all can pray for my relationship life too, shoot. Because here's the thing. He said, I believe the Lord has synced me with husband. Ooh, Irene. I prayed for it since I was young. <gasps> Ooh, Irene. Ooh. We're going to talk about this on your one to one call tomorrow. Yes, Irene. Jay, you said Jay. Jay said, I need to be synced with my husband. Sync me with my husband, Lord. LOL. I'm going to be the best wife ever. I'm the best mom and wife now. Yes. We did pray. Look, we done prayed about a whole lot of stuff. But women of God on here, Prophetess Shema, everybody. And, and here's the thing don't give up on them this time. Because I, I really, okay, look. Father, just tell me what I can say. Don't give up, okay? Just don't give up. The Lord has asked me to feed you all. Don't, just don't give up. Meaning, if the, what, look, I'm going to start here. I'm going to decree and I'm de going to declare. I'm going to ask the Lord. The next person who you feel a real connection with, who you feel like the Lord told me this this is him. This person, that your relationship is going to succeed with this person because you will not give up. You're not going to give up on the person, okay? It's going to succeed. That next person, you're going to get the divine signal. It's going to be divinely aligned. It's going to synchronize. It's going to feel right. It's going to look right. It's going to be right. I'm not saying everybody's going to have the right, you know, an opinion that they like him. They might not like how he looks. He might be shorter than you. Than you. But the Lord is going to tell you yes. Like the Lord has been speaking to me recently about my, my relationship life. I know it. And he's been telling me a specific name. And I know it. So I'm just going to decree this onto you right now. Yes, you said let the spirit flow through you. I block every wrong man and I block every wrong woman. I just block them. If they if they looking at you, they like your butt, they like your boobs, they like your hair, they like your face, they like your skin, they like your how you work and how you how you twerk and how you all of that. Look, they're gonna find somebody else to fixate on. Okay, I just I just remove. Look in the spirit. Look, just do this. Just I just move. Just move them away. I I even I say, Lord, help me say something. For the wrong man or woman, not that anybody's bad. I love everybody that comes into my circle. Everybody has, if anybody has come into my life and you've contributed to my life, you have, you are blessed, man and woman of God. 
And when I say personally, man of God, because I, you know, but all the people that have come into my life, you are blessed. But particularly, man, the Lord has allowed me to meet some very, um, starting from my first boyfriend to my uh, ex fiance, and even the couple that I've dated uh, after that, the Lord let me meet some wonderful men. But I've got, I had gotten to a point where I'm just like, okay, help me say something that would just let them know that this this is not it if it's not it because sometimes we just don't know <laughs> sometimes you can just be in a point where you're just not sure so get into the practice of that now i remove every wrong person in the spirit not that they're wrong they just might be wrong for you and i create an atmosphere in your spirit i'm speaking to your conscious mind and your subconscious mind we're creating an atmosphere where the person is gonna come forth they're gonna look at you they're gonna look at you and they're gonna they're gonna see something and they're gonna say you know what I feel safe I feel like I'm not my heart's not gonna get broken I feel like something's going on right something I can do this I feel like I can do this for a lifetime they're gonna say that about you they're gonna look at you they're gonna feel that and you are, that's really gonna be the truth it's not gonna be a lot like they're gonna see the truth when they look at you you're gonna see the truth when you look at them you're not gonna believe a lie about a wrong person because of being thirsty or being impatient you're gonna get real serious and you're gonna say I'm willing to wait for me it's been nine years 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 this is 2019 nine years You can just wait. Not nine years. I'm calling in speedy harvest. I need some harvest. I want some. I want some harvest. I want. I want this to work. But I just. I'm gonna just speak it right now. I'm gonna give birth to it through my mouth and my prophetic tongue. Yes, it's gonna be right. They're gonna be like, I, I like her. I can do this. She. She's. She's exactly, or he's exactly the type of person that I want to invest myself in. I'm a, I'm a highly valuable person. I like the course of their life. I like the way that they think. They're different. They make me feel like a man. They make me feel like a woman. They see me for who I truly am. They don't just see me in, in my business or see me in my potential or where I'm going. They see me. They see me. Like, they see me. They see me. They love me. They choose me. They know that the Lord is calling them for me. And they're going to be Jesus in my life because Jesus empowers me. Just like Jesus can empower his prophet to come into your life and be his hands for you, be his physical flesh, his, his voice, his being for you, consistent. We went from weekly to now nearly daily, Sunday through Thursday. Jesus can possess a person just like he's possessed me to come and, and be his hands for you. Why can't he do that in your personal life? He does that in people's personal personal life when they're ready, when, when the two parties are ready. So you're in the driver's seat. It's time. It's, it's go time. It's all up to your speed. And I, and I just decree it right now. Some of you all are ready. I can feel your spirit. You're ready for this. But you can't give up when it gets hard. You can't say, oh, Lord, man, ooh, nope you have to trust that the Lord will empower you to get through it to get through it glory to God and to continue he, the Lord is saying continue to pass the test yes Irene I see those hearts continue to pass the test Jay I saw those hearts too yes con continue continue look at this we're calling in your husband. You get a husband. You get a husband. You get a husband. You get a wife. You get a wife. You get a godly wife. You get a godly husband. And look at this. This is what you all can do. Because I did this. I put a seed in the ground. <laughs> Jay said, hey, you get a husband. You get a husband. Yes, Jay. <laughs> you get a wife. 
Shoot, this Mother's Day, we unlocking that thing in the spirit. Shoot. I sowed a seed. Yes, a godly husband. Shoot. For us. I sowed a seed. And I put on there, godly husband. I sowed the seed. I sowed it. I sowed that seed. I sure did. Here's the interesting thing. I'm going to tell you this. I was interested in a guy at the time. And I almost wrote his name on the seed. Because I heard about people doing that. Like you can write. Like uh, Mike Murdoch talked about writing his son's name on a seed. And because he and his wife were going through a custody battle. And lo and behold the, the son was released to him and I've heard other women sewing for their husbands and all that and I'm thinking do I well what do I do do I put the person's name on, on the seed or do I just and I heard the Lord say no don't put the person's name on the seed just put godly husband on the seed because I could have reaped that person and that person would not have been for me <laughs> but if the Lord right it's right in that a good word this was way back in 2014 or 2015 I think it was 2014. The Lord said, I heard, and it was like the Lord, and I felt also my angels. It was like a company of, of divine presence. Like, no, don't, don't put the person's name. Like, not yelling at me, but whispering to me in the spirit. They said, no, just put godly husband. I wrote that thing down because I almost put his name. And I and he would not have been from that was not the one for me. I didn't know at the time. But yes. Like, no, he was not the one. <laughs> and so, thank God I did not call him in, in the spirit, through my seed. Because your seed is powerful. You see how the Lord was on me about what I put on my seed? So, when you all sow, you need to know that's that that's that that seed, when it hits that soil, the Lord had even prophesied to me about a person who sowed a seed in bad soil, and it, and it was reaping bad harvests. And she was like, I don't know why I keep experiencing all these blockages. And the Lord said sold wrong seeds or something along that line and i was like this is what the lord said and i didn't know who she was talking about i didn't know she said i was in the ministry years ago she said i know exactly what the lord is talking about and the lord was telling me like big seeds in wrong soil so what you and, and when it was wrong and it was causing all these blockages because when you sow just because you're sowing into the so-called kingdom of god that not all soil is good soil so you have to sow the right seed put the right name on it if your ministry has an inspired seed like ours is Psalm 91, you tap on that. You put 91 cent at the top or at the end of your seed, and then you make sure the soil is good. How do you know soil is good? The Lord gives you fruit. You all see? Spicy Bay came on on Thursday and said she sold a 91 cent seed and got a $3,000 harvest. That's good. That, that is the Lord doing that on purpose. The Lord doesn't have to give any harvest. The Lord picks and chooses which ministry what anointed soil he's going to go and demonstrate himself through. And he said, okay, we can have ministries. My prophet of God, my woman of God over here has got our ministry with all our saints. I love her saints. I love her. Let me go ahead and drop a major harvest on them to let them know I'm really here. And then what did she do? We didn't even know she was coming on with that, with that, uh, with that testimony. She was like, I got a praise report. And I thought she said $30. So the first time I was like, oh, 91 said $30. Wow, that's great. Then I looked again, she said 3000 no, she said 30000 off of the price of her home. My God. <laughs> so, write that name down on that seed, right? And write, and sow in the right soil. You said, I received mine. Hey, let's have a big Oprah. Everybody get my godly husband and marry ceremony. I'm with it. Let me get my speed. <laughs> Let me get my seed ready. Hey, yeah, you can sow, hey, you can sow into our soil for your God, but make sure you're putting godly husband on that seed though go ahead and sow it put 91 cent at the end put godly husband on it and put it in our soil go to leahconnect.com forward slash sow get it in the ground as a matter of fact i call up my seed where's my godly husband father if you ready i'm ready <laughs> i think <laughs> no just kidding no i i could say i could say i could do it i could do it I, i'm i'm developed i'm mature i'm i'm ready I had to go through a whole lot of self-development before I could really commit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so when the Lord is ready, I know I'm ready. And the Lord has been communicating to me recently. So I'm like, okay, 
because my life is led by God. Lily said, "Yes, God can do it." Uh huh. But see, the thing is, I don't, I don't like drama. I don't want any drama. I don't want any com com um, com complex, um, extra drama. Like none of that. Hey, Joseph, and look at Joseph comes on the line with all these showers of hearts. Yes, glory to God. Yay, yay, yay. Welcome, welcome home. Welcome to the ministry. Welcome back. And then Good Fruit said, I'm ready, but God knows. You said, you sure? Me too. <laughs> yes, hey, everybody. Look. Look, me too. Wait, wait. Seed of Deliverance said, you sure? Good Fruit said, me too. Good Fruit, you are so funny, woman of God. Oh, Lord, we are having so much fun on this broadcast. My uh, phone is saying 20%. So if it cuts off, I'm going to keep going until it cut off, until the Lord say, that's what marriage come with. I know, I know. So here's the thing. Like, I I don't want to deal with the conflict, but I know conflict is can can manifest, okay? I, I get it. 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 I, I definitely get it. I, there are certain types of conflict that I don't want to go through, though. You said, when you first meet someone, it's hard to know what you're stepping into. Yeah, it's true. Yes, it is. Conflict, challenges, and compromise. Yes, yes, it's so true. Seed of deliverance. Yes, it is. And I believe that for the right relationship, God always anoints us for the conflict. Like, so any person you're supposed to be with, there are people in the world that are in relationships, uh, you know, where the man has children by another woman. He's been married to another woman. Um, there might be a physical challenge. There might be a mental challenge. There might be so many things going on, but that person is anointed to be with that person. And the whole, I 100% believe, I 100% believe this. The Holy Spirit will empower you for the person you're supposed to be with so when i say i don't want to go through challenges that just might mean i don't want to go through challenges that the holy spirit is not anointing me for <laughs> but i believe that the holy spirit will anoint me for specific types of challenges but i still love my wife he said yes see the oh yes we increase the love that you have on your wife man of god i love when men of god come on the line and they talk about how much they love their wife oh king jesus Oh, King Jesus, yes. We, we, man of God, your ministry just adds fire to your love for your wife. When you look at your wife, you are going to see an angel for you specifically. Not just any old angel, but an angel that the Lord made for you, man of God. An angel. And I'm just going to say this right here. Because... In ministry, when a, when a female or a male is a leader, and there's someone out there that may be single and of the opposite sex, they may develop like a crush. And this is not for you, man of God, but I'm just going to say this right here. They may develop a crush on whoever the spiritual leader is because this is very deep. It's very deep ministry. But the leader has already been through something where they know how to handle that type of scenario. And what I've learned is that yes see and this is not connected to you the lord just dropped this in me because i think this is something that i have wanted to say in the past and i just it was never like the right time i was always in the middle of something but i, I think last week i wanted to mention this one time i went to mention this and it didn't come out but i think the lord is permitting me to yeah the lord is permitted permitting me to say this right now so okay so let's just say okay it's a very sensitive topic but it, it happens the lord may call you to like invest your heart in your spiritual leader now i'm not asking for that i'm not asking for that and it may only be for a short time that only happens because the lord is drawing you closer to him and he will much prefer you to have your heart for a time for a time until you get on path with whoever you're like actually supposed to to be in a relationship with because this is more spiritual this is ministry the lord knows everyone has a heart knows everyone wants to be loved no one everyone wants to feel special knows that but i have learned that the only reason why the lord will call you to like crush on your spiritual leader is because he's calling you closer to him so don't feel like um 
the person is calling it in like calling it in no like because i'm not calling it any like special attention none of that um let me just say this here on, on uh facebook because periscope just went out um yes it's only because the lord wants to call you closer to him you said it's reality and normal thanks for speaking on it i received that yes isn't that isn't that normal because I, I even went through something like that like oh my gosh like this is so beautiful <laughs> and um it's just the reality and um so long as the person whoever it is knows that it's only to draw you closer to the lord not it's not about the person on the other end it's just so that your heart can have a safe place to be planted where the holy spirit is moving as you are maturing as you're growing into who you're called to be that's the path that you go on okay yes isn't that powerful jay so um periscope cut off i hope periscope got the whole word we were just so on fire tonight <laughs> um and so, yes, so if that's you, man or woman of God, we love you. We want you on our ministry. Uh, we, we just, this is home for you. But just know as you are um, investing your heart, the Lord is calling you to, yes, invest it in your, in your ministry. But know that it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Your, you, whoever you are supposed to be with, it's, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, now, now is, is my phone coming back on? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Look at the beautiful. Look at the beautiful. Uh, look at that. We are out here partying, y'all. Happy Mother's Day. As we call in everybody's husbands. <laughs> as we as we to get our Oprah on, you got you get a husband. You get yourself a husband. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, King Cyrus. Yes, you all came on, 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 uh, on Facebook. I think we might have about 10% charge left on the phone here as we're outside. I wonder if there might be outlets out here, but. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Any Anybody else have any comments? Anything they want to say? This was fun. I'm glad we came out here. I just started speaking in tongues and then look at all the Lord did. Yes, King Cyrus, my battery went out on my phone. I do have my power, my power sources out here. Only one of them was working today. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, I'm gonna have to probably go and get some more. Yeah, my phones have just been hooked up to the external power sources. The ones that I commute with, like when I'm at the park with you all, I bought those specifically for this purpose and this and kept put this other photo for that. You said thank you, Lord. Yes, JJ, I'm so glad to see you on a live, Jay. Uh, we haven't seen you on a live in a little bit, so I mean, I know you watch the replays and stuff like that, but I'm so glad we were able to catch you on the live. And then King Cyrus missed uh, earlier today, so King, you got a whole lot of food. Uh, spiritual food from our Lord to, to munch on tonight and whenever you get a chance and then Irene I'll see you or I'll talk to you tomorrow for our one-to-one -one. and um, if you need your one-to-one -one, remember they're forty-seven ninety-one now so they're 50, about $50 cheaper uh, so hopefully the Lord well the Lord wanted me to do that uh, he, I remember he pointed me to the word new covenant so he was allowing a new price to be put on the covenant that we have together because he's He's the one. Not I, I want to do the one-on-ones too. I love doing the one-on-ones. But the Lord really wants me to do the one-on-ones. Like, when I ask the Lord, like, okay, Lord, you want me to do this? He'll be like, yes. Like, the Lord is so, so passionate about the one-on-ones. And I see why, because we get so many deep, deep breakthroughs. So, um, Jay, I know you have to reschedule yours. And, uh, yeah, everybody go ahead and get your one-on-one so we can continue the discussion. And I pray for you tonight. <laughs> so your godly husband see, I'm not playing. <laughs> if you want, if you want that, go ahead and do it. And uh, yes, go to sleep with a warm heart tonight is what the Lord is saying. Go to sleep with a warm heart. A warm heart. You said, was wondering if there was anyone that wanted to send a gift. Do you have a P.O. box? Yes, I do have a P.O. box. It is, uh, go ahead and write this down. 
Oh, thank you, King Cyrus. Oh, you. Oh, that is so sweet. You said will do. Yeah, I, shoot, I love it. Okay. And you may want to replay it at this moment. It's P.O. Box 165672. Hey, Irene, have a great night. P.O. Box 165672, Irving, Texas, 75016. Uh, okay, I'm going to say that again. P.O. Box 165672, Irving, Texas, 75016. That's my P.O. Box. You can definitely send me gifts there. I'm technically a spiritual mother, so I'm kind of celebrating Mother's Day <laughs> as well. So thank you so much for that, King Cyrus. I look forward to receiving the gift. And uh, yeah, all right. The Lord said, again, the Lord said, go to sleep with a warm heart. All right, love you all and have a great night. Bye-bye.